Okay, this is a project of the day. Uh, I'm uh, working with this uh, optocoupler uh, to uh, link Arduino and uh, a piece of LED that is just blinking. But it's not all about just like a ordinary blink program. Uh, it's actually I want to use this optocoupler to uh, isolate Arduino Leonardo from a solenoid, which I'm going to do kind of in the next project. So here uh, there is a, a Vishai um, optocoupler. Uh, they call them opto isolators as well. And uh, this one is uh, SPH. That's sugar fem farm house 617A and um, done by Vishai and uh, it's uh, nice uh, because um, you could uh, it could take 70 watts uh, on uh, output okay so currently I'm supplying here uh, uh, 8 watts to Arduino and uh, Arduino is then uh, Leonardo is then just doing uh, this uh, blue wire is uh, pin 3 and that's just like a ground. So, uh, and so there are two separate circles, uh, circuits. Uh, one is on this side, and another one is powered directly from eight watts on this side. And all the power comes from here, um, uh, from those two. And um, so this is the closest look. Uh, I guess my camera does has a frog inside so it does some croaking if I try to push too close but this is how it um, looks and it's currently running a blink program so that's why you get uh, about two seconds of on time now um, I've, I'm done a little bit of measurement just so that uh, I understand better what's going on and the main thing is here um, like position of this um, uh, potentiometer. I, first I put the potentiometer uh, high uh, and close to the um, uh, rail, uh, but that wasn't the best idea because then this voltage at point 3 dropped um, really down to 2.195, something really small, 3.25. So then I said, okay, well, it's much better to have it uh, LED and uh, a potentiometer uh, a little bit higher so that I could get this voltage at number four much higher because I want to trigger a MOSFET. And MOSFETs, uh, most of them uh, uh, have these triggering points quite high. Um, so, and I have one old which I pulled from the uh, old motherboard, so I want to use that one for uh, solenoids and stuff like uh, that. So uh, the, 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 when I rearranged it, I got uh, um, 6.5 here, for better or worse, or like even to 7.73. So this is how a circuit looks like. Uh, I hope it doesn't get too dark. And um, so I'm going to use this for this version for triggering solenoid. I'm just going to put the MOSFET there. And there is this little Vishay. If you want to check some uh, of the figures, forward voltage on input side is uh, only 1.35 and could go up to 1.6. On input side, it would take uh, maybe 60 milliamps, but that's max. And um, on the output side, what is what is really nice, it could take 70 watts and uh, maybe 50 milliamps. Um, and for uh, um, this LED I was using, I need 20 milliamps, so there it could even drive a LED. And um, LED has a forward drop of a voltage drop of 185. So it's all going to kind of come in together now and. In the next project, I'm going to try the solenoid. Uh, this is the next project. So solenoid is going to be completely isolated from the Arduino. That's the idea. Okay, thanks.